many years, my work has been about women and their power. I would say it's very feminist. It's about the strength and the sensuality of women. Women as life givers. Women as the creatrix of the universe. I did more symbolic work that I've got symbols like the spiral, circle, the moon, the bird, the lotus. These are part of my visual vocabulary. On this side, you see referring to women from the Bible, like Lilith and Magdalena, women who have been disparaged. It's time for them to have their, their moment, to take their power back. Uh, Lilith was one of the first, was the first woman um, that's noted in the Bible before Eve. And so I like to use these um, historical characters um, to display the strength of women. I'm also interested in the ancient mythology uh, that comes out of the Celtic tradition of Maiden Mother Crone. It's like the triple goddess. It's representing the three phases of a woman's life. Uh, the young woman, uh, the mother who's pregnant, and um, the older woman, the crone, the wise woman. And so this is a mythology that has come into my work over and over. Um, I have a, another piece here um, called the Sacred Feminine Trilogy. And uh, again, I have the maiden mother crone and a lot of the symbology, like the bird, a spirit messenger, and the lilies, the cow lilies, as a sign of fertility. So uh, this is a lot of my uh, vocabulary that I'm using over and over again and telling her story. So in this piece, Maiden Mother Crone, a sacred feminine landscape, um, I'm in, actually influenced by some of the ancient matriarchal cultures um, that existed way before patriarchy. Um, like, for instance, the Minoan culture in Crete. Um, they were a very peace-loving, egalitarian society where women were in power, the priestesses, uh, women were the priestesses and held the positions in the, in the community, and, um, but they were equal with men. It wasn't like they were over, power over men. It was just an e equal society which was a lovely thing to think that we could return to that someday. So I'm always trying to insert that into my work. Um, she's standing in full of the full moon. Of course, the full moon, uh, the moon is a sacred feminine symbol where our, uh, our monthly cycles are connected to the moon. Um, we have the mother who is pregnant. She's carrying uh, cattle lilies, which is a symbol of fertility, and um, we have birds, which I consider like spirit messengers. We have the, the, the young woman who has this fist. It's like she's put up with a lot already and she's not gonna take it anymore. This is a charcoal drawing on a mate paper, which is a Mexican handmade paper. And uh, it's a very sensual uh, medium to work in. This, these are two women from two different cultures meeting under the light of the moon. The piece is called Moongate. And uh, I've used a number of symbols, um, the deer, and she's got her angel wings. Um, I've got the spirals, symbols of rebirth and regeneration. Um, again, they're meeting under the light of the moon in peace. They've got their offerings to each other. Um, this one actually has the apple that Eve um, had in the garden, and she's ready to eat that apple. She's ready to have her power, take her power back. I'm using the young woman again, the maiden, and uh, so we have two uh, different phases of life as well, and um, they're coming together in peace and love under the light of the moon. Monoprinting has been one of my main ways of working for many years. I use a plexiglass plate 
and as you can see, I've got scratches on my plate. This is called dry point, which is gonna hold the ink. I work very intuitively, so I cover the plate with black, or whatever my darkest color is, and just start working. Working, I'll show you how I use the tarlatan. This is like a, it's basically a starched cheesecloth. And you can see I like texture. I like drawing into the, the ink with my rag. And again, I work very intuitively, so I don't know exactly what this piece is gonna be about. These days I'm, I'm working more figuratively, but for many years I did more symbolic. So this is more like a seed image. So yeah, I studied printing for many years. That was my major and then went into painting and, and drawing and that sort of thing. But I always go back to my mono printing for, because it's one of my loves. I, I just love the ink on paper.